Hi Virgo, welcome back to my channel, Unique Tarot. This is going to be your June 8th to the 9th messages. If you're new, make sure to hit the subscribe button. And if you would like a personal reading or need to know anything about me, all that information is down in the description box. All right, so this is for uh, Virgo. All right, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Virgo, June 8th to the 9th for Virgo. What is your person hiding from you? What is Virgo's person hiding for them, Spirit? June 8th to the 9th for Virgo. What is their person hiding from them? Virgo, what is their person hiding from them, Spirit? For Virgo. What is Virgo's person hiding from them, Spirit? What is Virgo's person hiding from them? Virgo, what is Virgo's person hiding from them? One, one, one on the clock. What is Virgo's person hiding from them? Virgo, what is Virgo's, okay. We have the death and the higher fun in the reverse that a marriage is over, okay, or that it's ending. Okay, Scorpio energy and Taurus, or you could be on a cusp or have it in your chart or whatever. You have somebody single now that, they're, that, that their relationship is over. Their marriage is over, okay? This is what this person is hiding from you, Virgo, or this is what you're hiding from them. You know what side of this you're on, okay? Yep. Yep, the tower, we have two. So heavy Scorpio energy here you could be dealing with. So this could be a Scorpio that, um, and then a, a Taurus moon or something like that. But they're hiding the fact that their relationship or whatever this commitment that they were in is over, all right? And now that they they, they want to, to, they're going in a different direction. This could be somebody at a distance or this person could live at a distance. But somebody's um, making a different decision here. You have Page of Cups. Now they want to uh, reconcile with you or apologize to you. Now they're realizing that they should have chose you. Okay, yeah, Six of Wands in the reverse because they, they're not getting the recognition or the attention or this didn't turn out how they thought it would be. Okay, if somebody stayed in the commitment or chose someone else over you because they thought it was a good decision, they're realizing now that it was not. And they want to apologize to you. They want to be with you. Yep. Yep. The two of cups and the page of swords. Now they're watching you and stalking you and realizing that you're the one for them. Yeah, but you already walked away. Eight of cups. You don't want to hear that shit. Yeah, page of pentacles to the ace of pentacles. You pretty much moved on and you're okay with it. Yeah, you're okay with the decision that they chose to make, even if they're not. Okay. All right, so we have the five of cups in reverse. Yeah, so now you're you're not worried about it. You're not you're not depressed about it. You're not sad about it or nothing. You just fucking moved on. Okay. Yeah. Now this person, yeah, now this person is realizing like how much they love you or how much you mean to them or how much whatever the fuck this is, all right? But uh, um, I'm just feeling like somebody just made a wrong decision here. They're realizing how much they loved you. All right, yeah, Ace of Wands. They're highly attracted to you. They want this passion, new beginning with you. All right, yeah, Six of Swords and the Emperor with the Eight of Wands. I feel like this person wants to come towards you fast. They want this commitment with you. They want to be with you. This could be the father of your child with the Emperor. It doesn't have to be. Yeah, Will of Fortune. Okay, they want to start over. All right. I feel like somebody realizes now that you were a better choice. I don't know what the fuck this was, but yeah. The tower and the death, something is over. O-V. A relationship is O-motherfucking-V, my nigga. O-V. Yeah, the star. Now that the will of fortune and the star and the temperance. Yep, they feel like you're the one. 
that they love you. Some of you could be a star, a rising star, an actual star, whatever the fuck this is. You could be famous. You could be a healer or astrologer. You could read natal charts or birth charts or whatever this is, but you're doing good in your life. And, and this person now feels a connection with you after they did whatever the fuck they did with whoever they did it with. Now the death, the tower, and the higher fun is here in reverse. That relationship is over. I feel like an engagement got cut off or a marriage ended or whatever this is. Okay, it could be a Sagittarius you're dealing with or a Scorpio or an Aquarius. Okay. Yeah. Yep, we have the Knight of Cups. Now they want to apologize. They're mourning. They're mourning. They're disappointed. They're holding on to this heartache. They 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 can't seem to let this shit go. They want to apologize to you. They want you to know how they feel about you. Yep, Four of Wands and the Queen of Wands. They want this relationship with you. All right. They find you to be sexy, a leader. You're fiery. Okay. This could be your twin flame. This person finds you to be fine as hell. Yeah. King to the queen of wands right here. This person realizing now you're their twin flame. You're the one that's meant to be with them. You're destined to be together. This person is well aware that you are destined to be together. We have the ace of wands, four of wands, king of, queen of wands, and king of wands. This is a twin flame connection with the two of cups. This person knows you are a better decision with the two of wands. And they know they fucked up. They know they can have the world and everything with you. Yep, ten of cups. You're the, their emotional fulfillment and they're stuck on you and they can't move forward. This is what this person is hiding from you. The fact that whatever they chose over you or whatever they were doing over here or whatever they thought was going to work out, it did not. <laughs> Yep, six of wands. It was it was a uh, um, lose lose situation. We got the four of pentacles. They can't let you go. They're holding on to you in secret with the moon. Could be dealing with a Cancerian. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. You could be dealing with a Scorpio or a Taurus. I know y'all like to hear the signs, even though it don't matter because you could carry any any energy. All right. So let's see. Yep, we have the Eight of Cups, but you walked away. Some people are going through a dark night of the soul or somebody's moving at night or whatever this is. All right, yeah, Ten of Pentacles. You're there, Ten of Pentacles and Three of Pentacles. They want to work with you. Somebody's madly in love with you, but you're done. All right? Somebody left you out in the cold and said, fuck you, or did whatever they did, and now they, they realize that person ain't shit. Now they're looking at you be a star, and you follow your north node and do what's best for you. Yeah, eight of wands, here they come in quickly. They're coming in quick with communication. They're tired of being stuck or stagnant or being away from you. Somebody even weeps over you. I feel like somebody cries because they realize how much they fucked up. Like, real shit. Because now all they can do is sit back and watch you be this star or whatever this is. Yep, six of cups in the chariot. You've moved on from the past. You've let that go. Or somebody's hoping that you can let go of the past here. Yeah, knight of wands and queen of cups. Yep, and the empress. They feel like you're the one. They feel like you're nurturing. Some of you could be very intuitive. You intuitively know that it was time to walk away from this person because they're a player with the Knight of Wands, Sagittarius energy. Yeah, we have the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse and the Six of Pentacles. So we have two queens here, all right? So somebody here um, could also be pregnant, but somebody here is money hungry. Somebody, this is somebody that um, is very greedy, okay? Yeah. I feel like they realize they fuck with somebody who's very greedy over someone who's spiritual, loving, uh, um, um, caring, maybe even a spotlight, a high priestess, a star. Yeah, the empress, that's the divine feminine. There's nobody better than her. She is your highness. And somebody chose a queen of pentacles in reverse over you. Somebody greedy, money hungry, maybe even a thief is what I just heard. Wow, somebody, <laughs> yeah, queen of swords in reverse. Or, or king of swords in reverse, nine of swords. Now they're they're now they're a tyrant. They're harsh. Now they're fucked up. They can't sleep. Yep, there it goes. Seven of swords. I can't make this up. Oh, I'm sorry. That's the five of swords. Okay, that's not seven. But the king of swords in reverse is still somebody that's a fucking liar. 
that doesn't tell the truth, that lacks integrity. This person felt like they were doing what they was best for them or they were trying to hurt you purposely or betray you purposely. But all they did was get stuck in this energy. The hangman, the three of swords, and the motherfucking two of pentacles. Out of control with their emotion. This is the type of person that cries one moment and then the next moment they don't know what to do. I feel like somebody's in anxiety. They're like, what did I do? Why did I do this? What happened? Or why did I make this decision? Or what the fuck? Yeah, because you're indifferent now. You could be dealing with a Libra. I saw the Empress, the Three of Swords, and the Two of Swords here. So heavy Libra energy here. Right along with Cancer energy, Taurus energy, Scorpio, Aquarius, Cancerian. Okay. Yeah. Now somebody's realizing that they fucked up because you're indifferent. Yeah, they left you out in the cold to go be with somebody else. Or they left you out in the cold. Yeah, somebody had a lot of money. They had a lot going on and they lost that shit. Because they fucked over their divine feminine. Somebody they have soul contracts with in past lives. And in this life too, this person's stupid. And I said it and I meant it. These are the last two cards I'm pulling on. Yep. The high priestess, okay, and the four of cups. Yep, somebody didn't listen to their intuition. They want to be in third-party situations or have all these holes or whatever they was doing. And now they left out in the cold. And they lost money. They're going from the ten to the five of pentacles. Yep. They didn't listen to their intuition. Now they feel like a missed opportunity with you. Just period. So that's what your person is hiding here, Virgo. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share this video with anyone and everyone. And I'll see you guys in the next one.